Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to film you this short video about headaches today. This is Martin Zollinger from Reform in Ottawa. And uh, I wanted to shoot this video because I just had someone in here who admitted that he gets headaches uh, monthly. Uh, but he goes, I don't even think about them because I used to get headaches so more frequently. So I didn't even want to want to bring that up today. But of course, headaches affect so many people, um, debilitating time off work, quality of life. So I wanted to say uh, there's, there's help for you guys. I want to show you why headaches happen, especially what we call cervicogenic headaches, which are headaches that they're actually pain that's coming out of your neck going up to the head and I'm going to explain what that looks like on a spine. I'm going to give you some preventative tips on, on how to stretch, strengthen and massage them away. Um, and of course, if there's a, a cause for an adjustment, you should book in and get your spine assessed. So this is for someone with headaches. You can share or tag this with anybody you know who's struggling with this because there's help for you guys. So I, I want to start right away with uh, with the anatomy of your neck. Now, the, one of the one of the prime areas is the the top of the spine here, and this is the the bottom of the skull. And you can actually see nerves coming right out of the the spine here, and there, there are nerves that circle right back up into the side of the head. So of course, if there's any pressure or tension or irritation on those, ner those nerves, you're gonna get this pattern up into your head. Um, and that's what we call radicular pain. Really simply mean it's following that nerve. Uh, what, what a lot of people don't understand about headaches is there's also lots of referred pain that comes out of the muscles and the joints up in this part of the spine. What that means referred is when we put pressure on a joint or a muscle up here, the pain's actually felt somewhere else. That's usually temples or in behind the eye or like a throbbing pain right at the front of the head. So I wanted to show you this really quickly because this area up here, when you have tired posture at the end of the day, Guess where all that pressure is going? Right up here. You fall off your bike. Um, you have an old uh, motor vehicle accident from years ago that put a whiplash into your neck and damaged some of those ligaments or caused subluxation. So there's a shift or a twist of some of these spinal bones and there's always pressure on those nerves. So that's what I wanted to share with you in terms of the anatomy and, and why things happen. So of course, if you've had trauma, you should get your spine assessed. Um, good posture is absolutely critical. Now, the other thing I did want to touch on is, well, what can you do about these things at home? Okay. So right away, I'm going to turn around and I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Right at the back of the head on either side, you have four very small muscles. Um, these, these muscles are called the suboccipitals and they send all sorts of referred pain up, okay? So right away, you can get in there with a, with a thumb or a couple fingers and you can massage these little muscles out and try and get some tension out, okay? Uh, second thing you can do is, is stretch out the, the neck. And there's a, there, there are two specific muscles that literally run from the top right down to the shoulder blades. And I find the most effective stretch for headaches is looking to one side, dropping your eyes to the floor, and then adding a little bit of tension. And so you should feel a pull right down that, that whole neck, even into the shoulder blade. And if you're doing it right, you should also feel a lot of stretch happening right at the base of the skull. Okay. so. That's what I wanted to share with you today because again, like this gentleman I was just sitting with a few minutes ago, headaches are part of his life and part of his story, but they don't have to be. Again, the vast majority of headaches come from a dysfunctional cervical spine, things in the spine, um, in the neck that are not working well and sending pain up to your head. So if you need help, reach out. If you know someone who needs this information to help them along with their health journey, you feel free to share this clip with them or tag them in this post on Facebook, all right? So don't forget if you're on YouTube, subscribe. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Take care.